Good morning, children. Here we come with the last type of synthetic fiber, that is acrylic. Acrylic fibers are known as artificial wool. It resembles all the properties of natural wool. So whatever we want from wool, we can get it in a very low cost from acrylic. Again, if it is a synthetic fiber, it has to be made from a polymer. Properties of acrylic fiber, which type of polymer it has been made from that you will study in your higher classes. So uh, type of polymer from which acrylic is made, type of polymer from which nylon is made and so on that you will study in your higher classes children. Next we come with the properties of acrylic fiber. It is cheaper than natural wool. All the qualities you will get of natural wool but the cost is less. It is lightweight, easy to wash, resist to moth means insects will not feed on these type of fiber because they are made in laboratory with chemical treatment. Let's check it out the uses of acrylic. Whatever you make from wool, the same materials you can make it from acrylic. It is used to prepare shawl, sweater, blanket, etc. It is also used for making gloves, socks, tracksuits. You can add more examples for uses. Whatever you get it with the natural wool, same you can get it from acrylic. An important note, always remember children, all the synthetic fibers which are prepared by a number of process, it is a chemical process through which the synthetic fibers are made. But the raw material for all the synthetic fiber, nylon, acrylic, rayon, all the synthetic fiber, the raw material, the main material which has to be present, that materials are known as petrochemicals. Why they are known as petrochemicals? Because they are from these materials come from petroleum origin. The meaning of origin over here is petroleum oil. So all the synthetic fibers are prepared by a number of process using raw material of petroleum origin which is called petrochemicals. Here we come with the last topic of synthetic fiber. After that, I will start with plastics. So for synthetic fiber, the last topic is blended fibers. Blended means uh, children, milana, mix karna. So you can easily, synthetic fiber has a, such a good quality that it can easily mix with natural fiber and it can give you the entire quality of a natural fiber as well as the synthetic fiber. So the fiber which are made by mixing natural and synthetic fiber are known as blended fibers. These are the colors, different colors you can get from blended fibers. For example, they took polycot. So poly means a synthetic fiber that is polyester and cot means cotton. Then we come with terricot. Terry it's again a type of famous polyester which is terylene. Plus cot means cotton. Then we come with poly wool, a synthetic fiber, polyester and again wool. So all these comes under the category of blended fiber. The next question arises over here. Can you give the advantages and disadvantages of synthetic and natural fiber? So here we comes with advantages of synthetic fiber. It is very cheap in cost, durable does not get wrinkles soon. All the properties, you mix the properties, you will get all the advantages. Can be dyed in various colors. Easily available. And there is no need of killing animals. Disadvantages. Sticks to the body. That is basically we have to be very much alert when we are wearing synthetic fiber. When burnt, it sticks to the body when burnt. It sometimes react to the skin also. All skin type could not able to take synthetic fiber. So for that sometimes it is allergenic also. So that for those we have to be very much alert. But maximum are the advantages 
when you are taking synthetic or purchasing synthetic fibers. Let's come to the advantages and disadvantages. Advantages of natural fiber, skin friendly, all type of skin type can wear. Does not melt, so nearby gas stove or burner or kitchen, people try to prefer which type of fibers? Natural fiber rather than synthetic fiber. Natural fibers, disadvantages, people want to buy but could not because the budget does not support, so very costly. Get wrinkled very easily. Can't be dyed, varieties of colors you cannot get. Requires to kill animals because basically they are uh, silkworms. Silk you get from silkworms. Wool you are getting from sheep. So basically they people kill animals for this fiber. So that is why that is one of the disadvantages. And most probably not easily available everywhere which you can get. On other hand, with synthetic fibers, you can get easily available in all the area. I hope children, I made the topics very much easy to understand. If any doubt, you can ask through Campus Care app. And I'm very much happy that children are asking the doubt. Children are putting their question and I'm very much happy to answer them. Any doubt regarding the topic which I taught today, you can ask me through Campus Care. There is one note I have given, which I am uh, giving an attachment with the video link. Those questions, those notes, you have to complete it in your classwork copy. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay healthy at your home, children.